Hello YouTube, Film Buff 06 here, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys my very first DVD collection update for January 2016. So, and starting at 5, 4, Three, two, one, now. Now, before, now, just before I, um, I show you guys the three, yes, three DVDs I got this month. Just in case you haven't, you haven't, um, seen them already, um, on my, um, on my Facebook status. I'm going to show you guys the f the first two entries of a brand new Star Wars helmet collection I have just started since I am a true Star Wars fan and the first one is of course the iconic mask and helmet Worn by the one and only Darth Vader himself from the original trilogy. And, and it just looks awesome. It really does. And it's, it's really, it's really quite brilliant how 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 much detail they've um they've put into this thing so so i'm i'm really happy to um to get that for what is for for what is quite literally one of my favorite movie villains of all time just really happy about that and of course the other one is the iconic helmet worn by everyone's favourite Star Wars bounty hunter, Boba Fett, from The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. And, again, likewise with, um, with the Darth Vader helmet, it just looks... The detail that they've put into this thing is just amazing, and I really cannot wait to um, and I really cannot wait to um, to collect um um more of these in in the coming weeks, and this is really really cool. Now with um with those out of the way, here are the three DVDs I've collected, all three of which um all three of which are um are um oh, are um are really sort of Oscar movies. Um, one of them's been Oscar nominated only been Oscar nominated. The others have been Academy Award winners. So starting off is the the latest Quentin Tarantino film I've just added to the collection to go with Inglorious Bastards and Pulp Fiction. This time, it's 2012's Django Unchained, which of course stars Jamie Foxx, Christoph Waltz, uh, Kerry Washington, Leonardo DiCaprio, and of, and of course, The Man. Samuel L. Jackson. Um, now I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen, I haven't seen this film before. 
um, didn't real wasn't um, I don't think I was um, well sorry I um, I didn't go to um, um, to the cinema to see this um, but I did know that it, it did but I do but the only thing the only thing that attracted me to this film was really um, um, the couple of Oscars that it did end up winning um, for Quentin Tarantino's original screenplay and Christoph Waltz's supporting performance, which, believe it or not, was his was the second supporting actor Oscar that he that he won for a Quentin Tarantino film, along with his first win, of course, for Inglorious Bastards. So, um, really don't regret getting this. This is going to be, um, I bet I, I can get, I bet this is going to be a really, really awesome film for me to see for the first time. And, yeah, there you go. Django Unchained. The next one is, it, it's quite literally one of the, it's quite literally um, one of the best movie, been hailed as one of the best movies ever made, according to uh, uh, according to IMDb and 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 many f and millions of film fans and film critics around the world, and that is of course the nineteen ninety four prison classic with Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman, The Shawshank Redemption. And, and wow, and wow, and wow. It's awesome that I have, that I have, um, it's awesome that I've finally got this, this, this this unbelievable film this unbelievable and incredible film on dvd um it's a shame that it didn't that it's a shame that it was an initial flop at the box office when it came out but but at the same time i'm really proud that that since it came out it, it's 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 quite literally risen up in the rank, wrote, risen up in the ranks to become um, one of the best movies ever made. Quite literally, right up there with the likes of Jaws, Star Wars, um, and 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 of course Citizen Kane. So yeah. There you go, the Shawshank Redemption. Get busy living, or get busy dying. That's damn right. <laughs> um, bit of a Morgan Freeman impression there. Um, and the last one is is a film which i which i already which i've all which i already reviewed on the channel uh, last year i think during the summer of last year and and it's of course the 1990 oscar winning kevin costner starring western epic Dances with Wolves, and which I, which I, which in fact I, I only bought yesterday from my local HMV, and it was really tough, and, and it was, it was, 
it was a really, really tough decision to either buy this or to kill a mockingbird with Gregory Peck from 1962. But you know what? I since I already reviewed this film, I I don't really regret collecting this at all. I mean um at all and it is just just and despite it being three and despite it being just three hours long or just or just really sh or just really shy of three hours it is still a fantastic film it really is um and that's pretty much all i can say about dances with wolves because if you really want to know my my um my um in depth thought my you know in depth thoughts on the film you can you can go and check out my um review of the film um my review of the film um in fact, I would leave a link to that review in the description below. So, yeah. So there you go. Dances with Wolves. And that is that for this month. So... Please feel free to leave a comment in the section below. Uh, please let me know your thoughts on 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 the DVDs and um, and items that I am that I managed to collect this month, um, which of course are um, the Darth Vader and Boba Fett helmets as well as um, Django Unchained, The Shawshank Redemption, and Dances with Wolves. Plus, feel free to subscribe to my channel as always. Do take care, everyone, and goodbye.